They discovered fire, developed language, and travelled to the moon and back. And this is all about humans. Homo sapiens means wise man, but humans are here to prove the science nerds wrong, and that is why they need signs on the hot water tap and used by dates on sugar. Humans are any species that fall into the genus Homo. The oldest ones we know of date back around 2 million years, and even with all our modern technology we still don't know how or when the first humans really evolved. One of the first humans was Homo habilis, or handyman, which is a very distant relation to the man that fixed your sink. They lived around 1.4 to 2.4 million years ago and had learned to use rocks and tools to scrape hides and cut up meat. Then came Homo rudolfensis, which either means they had red noses or the more likelihood is that they were named after the place they were discovered in East Rudolf, Kenya. The one we all remember is, of course, Homo erectus, which means upright man. Not sure which one of those two is most likely to cause a smirk. Homo erectus roamed around southern Africa, all the way to China in the east around 1.9 million to 110,000 years ago. According to a paper published in 2020, there is evidence of another group known as a super archaic group that separated from the humans but still popped round to mate with the Neanderthals and Denisovans from time to time. You can probably tell by looking at that dodgy cousin or creepy uncle that the modern human still carries some Neanderthal DNA, something we didn't realise until the Max Planck Institution went and spoilt it all by sequencing data from the Neanderthals. Denisovans were discovered as recently as 2008, and we still have very little information on them with the exception that we know they mated with the Neanderthals. Data analysis of a 13 year old girl that lived in a cave in Siberia 90,000 years ago showed that she had a Neanderthal mother and her father was named Dennis. Sorry, was Dennis Oven. It appears that this isn't a new thing. Modern humans as late as 70,000 years ago were also fornicating with Neanderthals in Europe and Asia, and the Aussies were at it with the Denisovans only 15,000 years ago. After sharing a bed together it appears they also shared more than DNA. They also shared skills like how to make fire or tie shoelaces. What also makes anthropology difficult is the spelling, and also the modern humans moved around a lot. Around 50,000 years ago they started turning their grunts into words and language was born. The question is, when did humans become human? This question could have many answers depending on how you look at it. Did they become human when they started walking on two legs? Or when they started using tools, started talking? Or when they invented the first iPhone? We just don't know. Humans are most known for their technological advances, where their other animal counterparts were happy digging insects out of trees. They wanted pizza and tacos, and the one thing that helped them achieve this goal was their thumbs. Thumbs enable humans to use the grasp ability, something that paws and hoofs fail at miserably. If it wasn't for their thumbs they would still be hanging upside down from a branch eating fruits and berries. Another evolutionary advantage they had over the animals was the sweat gland. Being able to sweat externally meant they had more stamina which made it easier to outrun foes and dinner alike. Once they had achieved superiority over the rest of the animal kingdom, they started on their long, long journey to fuck it up. One of their first creations was religion. It was designed because the females became more and more difficult to deal with, so they came up with an all-powerful god to put them in their place, and some humans still actually believe it. Religion was created in many different geographical regions of the world, as people travelled and saw the females of the species being fully controlled, they decided to make their own at home to achieve the same end. This practice became more the norm, and humans would argue about what name they should give to their imaginary friend, and eventually started killing each other over it. As time passed certain restrictions were added to the list, and humans became afraid of speaking out about their discoveries in fear of religious reprisals, so human advancement stalled completely. After a while people got bored of being told how to live and what they could say, and a large portion of them put religion on the back burner and went forward with their imagination, inventing things like the light bulb and crocs. 
a long section of human history went by with nothing really happening, except for that time the Egyptians, Romans, Chinese and Persians did some stuff. It wasn't until many years later that the British, Portuguese, Spanish and Dutch did some more stuff, and that for some reason humans are trying hard to forget, because forgetting history is the best way never to repeat the mistakes they made of course. The Industrial Revolution then happened and humans became aware of capitalism and taking advantage of each other. This also paved the way for some great inventions that mostly came from a tiny island in the North Sea, and they eventually found their way to the New World where they painted them a different colour and called them their own. More fighting and wars ensued, this time over land and money, rather than the name of their imaginary friend, until one day a war started that involved almost everyone. This raged on for several years, and then the world suffered for several more, until another war ensued that almost involved everyone again. This war wasn't about the usual things, it was a painter and decorator from a place called Austria that decided he was better than everyone else, and if you didn't live how he demanded, then you would get cancelled, because that's obviously the best way to do things. Again the war raged on for many years, until eventually he cancelled himself in a bunker. After that war no one was able to wear a toothbrush moustache, or reach up to a high shelf with one hand. This did spark another kind of war that was a little chilly, the Cold War. During this time the East and West gave each other long hard stares, and built bigger and better things of which to kill each other with. One of them even built a wall and put signs up. This wall came down not so long ago, and people from the east became friends again, and the west started using them for making shoes and working in Mercedes-Benz factories like engineering elves. As humans advanced they became smarter and smarter, understanding and unravelling the mysteries of the universe. This stopped in 1981, when humans started getting dumber and dumber. They even made a movie about it, and had to give it an obvious name because people have become that dumb. It's dumb and dumber, if you haven't figured it out yet. As a human population increases and resources decrease, it is simply a matter of time before one outweighs the other, and the natural order and balance of the ecosystem is upended, and billions of humans will no doubt die of famine and disease and they will start to kill each other as the stakes are raised and starving people fight over the last chicken nugget on earth. There is a way to solve or at least ease the problem now, but it is highly unlikely that it would ever happen, removing the warning labels and danger signs would be a first step, and it would also increase the general intelligence quota of the population. Preventing humans that buy Apple products from reproducing, banning reality television, and removing access to the internet for anyone named Cardassian would also greatly improve the gene pool. There are also some honourable mentions that could be considered for sterilisation that may be added to this list, such as humans that buy all the toilet paper and bread when the store is going to be closed for two days, anyone named Greta Thunberg, all lawyers and politicians, and Florida. As it stands today, humans are still on planet Earth, ruining the ecosystem, pillaging the resources for their own selfish benefit, but there is light at the end of the tunnel, as it has now been proved that dolphins are getting smarter and smarter, and soon humans will be so dumb that they will have to bow down to their dolphin overlords. One can only hope. Thanks for watching.